Hey, what is going on guys? It's Toxness here back with another Call of Duty mobile video. Now before we go on, I just want to let you guys know I have like this really big like sore or I don't really know what it is. It has to do with my wisdom tooth and it just hurts really bad right here and I can barely talk. So so if I ever like mumble or if I talk a little bit quieter than normal, that is but without further ah oh, dude, see I bit it right there. But the brand new season of Call of Duty Mobile just has hit and I'm talking about season four of the uh, ranked season. So this is going to be the uh, review and all that. So we're going to be getting this new character skin, the Ruin. Um, I don't know the name and we're also getting the Man of War skin as well. So this is a cinematic. It goes until um, five. What is that? January, February, March, April, May. So May 20th. Uh, these are the weapons that we can actually obtain. So it looks like a pistol, FHJ, BK57 and the Man of War. Obviously, the Man of War is the coolest. Um, and then it shows the the BR rank season as well and you can also get okay So it looks like ruin Jade is actually gonna come from the BR season and the uh, weapon skins are gonna be coming from multiplayer um, So here's some of that stuff. So super cool skin I'm actually really hyped to get that because I really like that skin last season I didn't actually get the mark 5 skin just because I didn't play BR um, But maybe this season we'll try to get it. I don't know. I don't play BR that much uh, but as you can see, we can uh, look at where the rewards are actually like obtainable. So it looks like at Pro 1, you get the BK57, um, you get weapon XP cards and stuff. And then at Master 1, you get the uh, Man of War. And then you get a uh, frame at Legendary. And then here's the other stuff before that as well. So I'm actually already got like most of the stuff up until Elite 5 because I was Legendary last season. So I'm going to go ahead and claim all that stuff really quickly. So if I go here um, in my mail and then it's just to do Mark is Red, I can claim all of that. Again, sorry for the stutters, the, the mouth hurts really bad. Uh, but yeah, there it is, the BK-57 Industrial Revolution. So that's the name of the skin. So the Man of War is likely gonna be the exact same name. Uh, looks really cool, I like it. I get a ton of credits as well. Um, I think all the new stuff that has come this season is the new ranked season, the new battle pass, which we're about to look into, and then the new multiplayer mode. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at that. Uh, we won't play it right now, but I just wanna see what like the different maps are and all that. Uh, so as you can see, bottom right, 2v2 showdown. Um, that's going to be in the featured modes 2v2 showdown the maps that are available are kill house and cage um here's some of the information on it i guess basically you just load into a match with a teammate of your i think of your choice i think you can actually have a teammate or maybe you can only be paired with someone i do want to see if you can do it in a private match because if you can that'd be really sick just for like fun 2v2s with friends uh so i'm gonna go check that really quickly Okay, so it looks like it's actually not in private lobbies right now. Hopefully they release it because that would be really cool in private lobbies. At the moment, it's just for public matches. I'm pretty sure it's not. No, I'm positive it's not in ranked. Um, in terms of the events, before I get into the battle pass, I'm going to check this really quickly. So we have the Jester's Trove Exchange. So you can actually claim or get these like uh, ticket things and you can claim a couple different things, including a daily token, uh, which can go towards getting the HBK. Um, there is also a DLQ skin and a BK57 skin. Uh, so I definitely need to get... Wait, I can get 10 of these, I think, max. Oh, okay, I see. So you can use these like jester thing, whatever they're called, and you can get a daily token per one that you have up to 10. So that's really sick. So the HVK actually might be um, achievable super, super soon. Potentially even today if they added other stuff. I'm going to check. Um, but here's my last one. So I definitely got to get more of those. Uh, monthly login calendar. Got three daily tokens for that. Uh, daily missions, those updated. Uh, 2v2, you can actually get some daily tokens. So that's pretty sick. So I definitely got to play that. Uh, double weapon XP, double player XP. Uh, I got to do these things, obviously. Uh, team play. Let's see what the rewards are on that. So a UL skin, a boat skin, and a frame. So nothing super crazy there. Uh, I have to do that, obviously, as well. Um, so I think I might actually be really close to being able to get this um, HVK. Okay, so I'm currently at 47, so I need 13 more. Uh, check the store really quickly before we go into the battle pass. So we do have some new crates. We actually got the HVK eruption crate, so I actually can get that weapon right now. So that's super cool. Uh, in terms of the new crates, so it looks like we obviously have the battle pass. Uh, we have the M4 smart rifle weapon crate, the HVK eruption weapon crate. This has a ton of epics in it, uh, a ton of cool uh, eruption skins. I think the KN44 and the HVK are the coolest in my opinion. I've already looked at this on the Garena server. Server. And then we have the Steel Legion crate as well with the Arctic 50 Steel Blue. Looks pretty cool. I'm not a massive fan of it. Uh, or not it. I mean the Arctic 50. Like, it's a good gun. I just don't like sniping that much. And when I do, I like using bolt actions. But nonetheless, it's a decent looking skin. And then it looks like you can actually get the Steel Defense, which just looks like this normal skin, I guess. Uh, except with a slight pattern. You can kind of see it, but it kind of looks like the, the normal skin for the most part. Uh, but Steel Defense, BY-15, Type 25, and HD-40 as well as a couple other skins here and there the pistol as well which actually looks pretty cool 
kind of like the look at that it's really really clean uh and then the ruined spades crate which you can actually go for so that's pretty cool as well um so those are all the new crates and it looks like they actually replaced all the other crates as well so these are our only crates available now and then the credit store i'm pretty sure they updated with the like the illusion skins i don't check the credit store too often um tank depths demski you can actually like buy shards for that you can buy it for the lava axe all this stuff i think it might have already been in the game again i don't check the credit store too often okay yeah so we're definitely gonna look at this stuff later but for now let's go ahead and take a peek at the battle pass all right so here's the battle pass no audio for whatever reason i don't know why but it looks like they're talking about the arctic uh blue or not the arctic steel blue i think it was on the arctic 50 and i believe it was the ak117 i don't know for sure i didn't really focus as well as the david mason skin and reaper uh so this is the season season five battle pass uh looks like we also have the magma comb skins which look really sick especially if they have like that animation with the fire so that looks pretty sick um and then we got some information here ak47 steel blue uh, so I believe they said that was the tier 50 reward. All right, so here's the battle pass. This is gonna be my very first reaction to it. So it looks like the first skins that you get for free or not for free, once you buy the battle pass, the very first skins that you get are the Reaper skin, as well as the M4 uh, Magma Comb, which looks pretty cool. It's definitely, yeah, it's, it's animated. So pretty cool looking skin. I don't think it has something coming out of it, but as you can tell, like the, the um, combs on them or whatever, the honeycomb pattern or whatever is glowing with like some lava behind it, which looks super sick in my opinion. And then you also get this knife section and sticky grenade. The knife actually looks pretty cool. I like that skin. Not animated though, but still really cool. Uh, obviously you get some CP and stuff. And then at tier 10, you get the PDW section. And then after that, the next cool reward. Oh yeah, there's also a nade here. Uh, the free rewards at the start aren't really that much. Um, and then at tier 12, you actually get the free to play GKS. So that's really sick. We're definitely gonna be able to get gameplay with this today, as well as doing a gun guide video on it after I get to test the gun a little bit more. That video will be coming out tomorrow because I will be testing it all tonight. So if you guys want to see that video tomorrow, make sure to drop a like and a sub down below. Uh, but also the paid uh, tier 12 reward is going to be David Mason. So you guys can see him right here uh, from the Black Ops series. And then at tier 20, our next reward is the M21 uh, Magma Comb, which definitely looks super cool. I actually like the name too. Fits really well. After that, then we have the AK-117 Magma Comb, which I think is actually the coolest of the Magma Comb skin so far. And then it's also on a pretty good gun. Uh, the RC drone is actually free to play as well. The Shock RC. I think I said drone but it's actually a uh, controlled car get that at tier 25 and then at tier 30 what well, yeah the ak117 so we already, already saw that um tier 40 looks like you get a icon of david mason and then for free you get this uh, medic and then the free skin also you get a free ak117 evil chip at tier 29 uh so that's pretty cool uh, i'm gonna keep scrolling through nothing super cool here uh, and then we actually get the ak-47 steel blue and that is the final reward and it actually looks like the final reward for the free version is only 400 credits which is kind of lame i guess i mean i did give a lot of cool free content in this including like the gks stuff but i'm really surprised that the uh the final reward isn't anything special for the free version of the battle pass i guess you do get this evil chip uh, glider but that is only for br so not super cool uh, in terms of the crates you do get the arctic 50 steel blue which already talked about and then you get some steel defense crates as well so these are actually the crates that you can buy in the store so it's not a battle pass only crate uh like the past seasons have been as far as i know but yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and buy the premium pass i think we'll just go ahead and buy this one so i can show you guys all that stuff in the video so we're gonna get at tier 13 gonna get reaper gonna get the m4 skin all right, so right off the bat, getting quite a few cool things. Um, I definitely think we're going to go ahead and purchase the rest of the Battle Pass so I can show you guys all of the skins. So we're going to go ahead and buy 30 tiers so we can get all this stuff. That'll put us up to 43. Uh, go ahead and skip through all this because it's going to take a while. And the cool thing about the battle pass as well is obviously you get a lot of cp back so even though i'm spending a lot of cp on this which you guys don't even have to do obviously you can just grind the uh the events or whatever to get this totally free after you purchase the initial battle pass you can get all the way up to tier, uh, tier 50 for free the cool thing about the battle pass is if you spend the money to buy the like the cheapest version you get all of your cp back which you can spend on the future battle pass so technically speaking you could buy the first battle pass and just buy every single battle pass after that you never have to spend more money so that's really cool but obviously we spent a ton of money on this so obviously we're going to be in the hole but we do want to show you guys all this cool stuff i want to show you guys all this stuff in the video so all right so let's go ahead and hop in our loadout and see what we got so the skins obviously we got uh david mason wherever he is let me go try to find him david mason so we got that skin we got reaper which is super cool looking for sure yeah man that looks sick i can't wait to see the man of war skin with him as well and i believe that's all we got for the the character skins i'm pretty sure you're gonna scroll through one more time just double check yeah and then maybe we got a backpack i don't think we did oh yeah section uh, maybe we got this as well i don't know for sure i don't check my backpacks that often uh this one's pretty cool as well i might have got it before uh but the new one definitely is the section section backpack i'm not gonna equip that just because i kind of like the uh the standard uh reaper we're gonna go ahead and take off the backpack in general if i can find it 
In terms of the weapon, we did get the GKS as well as the AK AK117. So you guys can see that here. Uh, AK47 Steel Blue, which we'll be looking at the iron sights on. It looked pretty sick. I think they're very similar to the um, Epic uh, AK47, which is the red action. Let me go look at those real quick. So here's the iron sights on that. And then here's the iron sights on the Steel Blue. They're definitely different. They look kind of similar, but they're definitely different. And then the M4, same iron sights. Uh, and the AK-117, I believe, same iron sights as well. Uh, so nothing super crazy on those. And then the AK-117 uh, Evil Chip, obviously, same iron sights. Here's the BK-57, if you guys were curious. I believe the same iron sights. I don't know for sure. I'd have to see it in the game. I don't use the BK-57 enough to know. Uh, I do believe it's the same, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the same. And then what you guys obviously want to see is the GKS, the brand new SMG. Uh, let me see if I can find that real quick. It's going to be at the bottom because it's the plain weapon. Uh, so here it is, the GKS. As you can tell, the, the picture of it actually looks different than the gun. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but here it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade it really quickly so we can get all of the attachments. Uh, we're going to use the iron sights just so you guys can see that. I'm not going to upgrade it at all just so we can kind of get a feel for it. Um, let me go ahead and equip it. And then I'm also going to do a version where I actually pimp it out a little bit just so we can see uh, how it performs with some attachments. So on this one, we're going to do a foregrip, a extended mag because it has a magazine size of 25. So that's going to be pretty important. And then a long barrel. And yeah, we'll do no optic just because I want to use the iron sights a little bit. So the class, I don't really care too much. We're just going to use pretty standard class on it. I do want to put Reaper on though, just so we can take it. Actually, let's do David Mason on this one. Okay, honestly, I'm going to make this like the battle pass and first reaction video. So I think we'll do crates in the separate one. I should be doing the HVK one. That might be its own separate video as well, because there is a lot of really cool stuff in there. And I definitely want to show you guys the odds on that a little bit more. Uh, but I think I'll make a separate video just covering crates and all that. And then this video will be the battle pass and then just kind of checking out the GKS a little bit. All right, so we're actually going to load into a TDM and not a 2v2 like I was actually planning on doing because in 2v2, they actually select your weapon for you. So we wouldn't be able to use the GKS. And that's the thing I mainly want to focus on right now. So yeah, this will actually be my first time using it. As you can tell, we have someone that bought the battle pass as well on the opposite team. Uh, but here we go. We got the GKS. I haven't actually played in like a day or two. I got to adjust my desk as well. All right, I haven't played it all today. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, but the GKS, as you can tell, it's 25 rounds. So very small magazine size. Hopefully the gun actually packs some punch because 25 mag size is, is ridiculous ridiculously low to be honest especially if it shoots fast which is it kind of shoots fast i mean that's that's pretty average i um, might actually be a little bit more on the slow side we'll see i'll definitely do all the testing on it and do like a gun guide hopefully tomorrow but yeah this will just be my like initial impressions of the gun um again it's really small it looks like an msmc in his hands to be honest maybe reaper just has a massive thumb but uh <laughs> it, it looks pretty small there we go first game again just a, a quick little tdm i'm kind of curious to see how the range performance is so i'm gonna go up here really quickly see how the stability in there so everything performs oh not bad oh yo the voice on a uh, reaper oh that's nasty so yeah that is the, the gks i don't think it's gonna be anything meta i think the pdw and razorback are probably gonna be better it, it seems like a fun gun to rock you need an x mag on it i don't know just for my initial impressions it seems like it's probably gonna need a buff <laughs> i don't know i don't know what the the like upside is of it it doesn't seem like it will be good enough at range to beat out an ar and it doesn't seem good enough at close range to beat out like the pdw and shotguns and stuff like that and it's definitely not good enough at really long range to beat out snipers so i don't necessarily know what the strength is maybe the headshot multiplier is really good on it uh some guns that aren't great do have good headshot multipliers like the m16 um and the hvk that's coming has a really good headshot multiplier as well I don't know. Definitely going to have to test the gun out more, see what strength it. Maybe I run around really fast with it and I just didn't notice. Uh, but the th I mean, the thing to take away from that round was just the, the voice on this guy. I finally got it. All right, so really quickly, just going to load into a match and show off the guns. We won't actually play the match just because I kind of want to show you guys the guns really quickly. Uh, but yeah, and then after that, we'll be we'll be done with the video. You're going to see this skin everywhere for a while. Uh, but here's the AK-47 Steel Blue, the iron sights. Iron sights are clean. Gun sounds the same. It's nothing different. Uh, AK-47, definitely a, a decent gun. I don't think it's anything crazy. Uh, the iron sights on this, though, definitely, uh, definitely something pretty cool. I like them. I feel like I can throw someone in my targets really well with this. This is obviously with no foregrip, by the way. Recoil control, terrible. Uh, but let's go ahead and switch to the, the M4. So here's the M4. As you can tell, you got the pattern on it and everything. It definitely matches the, uh, I don't know if I have the character on right now. Um, yeah, Mark V, if you look at his mask, it actually has that same like catac or magma comb, whatever your pattern. Um, cat catacomb? I don't even know, combs? Honeycomb? Honeycomb, that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, here's the M4. 
doesn't sound any different. It's actually kind of stuttering for some reason. Uh, and then the AK-117, I gotta kill myself. Right, here's the AK-117, same as always. It's nothing crazy, skin looks cool, but it's not like they uh, tweaked the iron sights or anything. And then the M21, go ahead and take a peek at that. And yeah, that'll be it. So it actually seems like, I, I just realized that the snake season or whatever, the theme was last season, had the same like uh, honeycomb pattern, I think. Uh, but anyway, here's the M21. Good guy over here. No, the audio kind of seemed buggy. Uh, but here's M M21. Man, this thing scopes in fast. I'm not used to that <laughs> compared to like, or I'm used to the, the DLQ and the Arctic 50 and all that stuff. But yeah, so that is it for the Battle Pass and some of the new content in this season, including like the GKS and all that. Make sure to let me know what you guys thought of this new season and all the stuff. Let me know what your plans are for like the ranked season. Are you guys going for legendary? Are you guys going for leaderboards? All of that stuff. Make sure to let me know down below. And obviously, make sure to drop a like and a sub if you did enjoy and want to see future content, including um, informational videos that I'll be doing soon, like what the new best AR is. Well, I've already done a video on what the best AR is, but I'm going to be doing a video covering what the best ARs are. So like the top five and all that, I'll be doing the same with LMGs, SMGs, all of the weapons in the game. So make sure to obviously drop a sub if you guys want to see that. But with all that being said, I will see you guys later. Peace.